Hi, I'm Mike Stewart, the engineering lawyer. Today I'm going to talk to you about patent law. If you're an engineer or a scientist, you probably already know a little bit about this. A patent is a legal right to prevent other people from copying your invention. It gives you the right to make, use, or sell what you describe in the patent as your invention. In order to get a patent, certain requirements must be met. It must be novel, unanticipated, and a few other things. It basically means you can't copy some other invention and then claim it as your own. There are a few other limitations, but I won't go into them here. Once you have a patent, and it's been granted by the government, the process to get there usually takes a year or sometimes even longer. But once you have that patent, you can then use that to stop other people from copying whatever your invention is, or from making it or selling it. You can also stop people from incorporating your invention into their invention. So if you invented a certain type of screw and then Ford decided to use this screw in their cars, you could sue Ford for patent infringement, provided you had the patent in, in the States and Ford was making them in the States. In order to sue somebody for patent infringement, you should probably hire a lawyer to do it because it goes to federal court and it's a complicated process. In order to get a patent, you should hire a patent agent or you could do it on, on your own. It is complicated, but you might be able to do it on your own. And you can, if you Google patent agents, you can find them. The typical cost for um, getting a patent is between ten dollars and $20,000. It can range if it's a much more complicated invention, but I would say that's the average range. And so, as I say, this was about how you can get a patent, what's involved, and then what happens when um, somebody steals your invention. So for startup companies, I don't recommend off the bat getting a patent unless that's the only thing you have in your business, which is your intellectual property, because of the significant expense involved. There are other ways to protect your intellectual property, such as confidentiality agreements, and also just being very careful about uh, who you tell about your inventions. Once you start to get money and revenue or investors, then you might start to think about getting a patent. But again, it all depends on your situation. So thanks again. This was Mike Stewart, the engineering lawyer on patent law. See you next time. Bye-bye.